YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Jaden from Paradox Customs, bringing you guys yet another YouTube video. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a tutorial on how to properly overclock your controllers. Um, this isn't going to be anything too special. If you've already overclocked your controller, this isn't anything on like how to make it better or a more efficient overclock, anything like that. The thing is, though, we've noticed that a lot of people come up to our booths at events and either try and overclock the controllers really incorrectly or they try and overclock an Xbox controller, which isn't possible or they try and use a different software and so this is going to be a really quick really simple and efficient video on how to properly overclock your controller so let's get right into it alrighty so we are on the lord of mice's github page this is where we're going to download the proper software so we're going to go ahead and on this page we're just going to click on this third one right here hid usb f dot zip we're going to open that up and then we're going to come all the way here and hit this download button and from there we're going to get a obviously you can see i have one of them already we're going to get this winrar file so i'm going to open this up here this actually got dragged to my second monitor so we're going to bring this here minimize it a little bit and what i'll do is i'll go make a separate folder controller overclock just so i have this all in one place and i'm just going to export this into this folder now it's going to take a little bit of time Nope, it was really quick. Look at that. Now that's done, I'm going to go ahead and open this software. So we have the controller overclock. We're going to double click the driver folder. And then we're going to open the setup.exe. This is the software that we're using. Now, as you guys can see, there's two devices right here. These are just my mices right now. So what we're going to want to do is go ahead and click this drop down and go to all devices. And you're going to see a whole bunch of these. Now, I currently do not have my remote plugged in. I'm going to do it with two controllers just to kind of show you the process twice. I have my Scuff Impact and my Battle Beaver DualShock. Um, it is worth noting, again, I kind of said this in the intro, but you cannot overclock an Xbox One controller. It'll actually increase latency, not decrease it. It is not the move. Do not try and overclock. So this is only works on the PS4, PS5 DualShock controllers. Um, so with that being said, we're going to take this cord and we're going to plug it into the PC. And... We're going to see our controller pop up here. Now, it is a little difficult to find sometimes, so we're going to wait here and see which one changes. So it's going to be this one right here. I know that because there was no nothing else with a 5 millisecond delay. So when I unplug this, this will disappear. And then plug it back in. It'll reappear. There you go. So this is a controller. Um, so pretty much what we're doing here is we can see that the controller is on a 5 millisecond delay right now, and we want to get that down to 1. So to do that, we're going to hover over this on the child names menu on the controller. we got to make sure we're on the controller. We're going to go install service. We're then going to come over to here and change the rate from default to 1,000, and we're going to install service. Then we're going to go filter on device, and we're going to press install service one more time. So we're doing it three times. Now our settings should say yes, 1,000, and 5 millisecond delay. Now when I go ahead and unplug my controller, plug it back in. That 5 millisecond delay has dropped to 1. Now this controller is properly overclocked. We do not need to do anything else. If you're looking at the professional players and all that, they aren't doing anything beyond this to their controllers. This is the best overclock you can get. So we're just going to leave it at that. We're not going to do anything too crazy. Now I'm going to do the second controller really quickly again. Just because it is not overclocked. And we might as well have it overclocked. Do it again really simple. We're going to plug that in. And oh, it is overclocked. Would well, you look at that? For any reason, if you feel like this did not work and you didn't like this, what you can do is go filter on device, turn it off, install service, put this back to default, install service, and then if we hit restart here, and then wait for it to finish. Unplug. And replug it in. Our controller is no longer overclocked. You can see it's this one right here. And then we can go ahead and just re-overclock the controller. Install service. 1000. Install service. And filter on device. Install service. Just like that, this controller is now unoverclocked and then re-overclocked in the matter of 30 seconds. Maybe a little bit longer. Who knows? Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you need any more tips, tricks, or anything like that, please do leave suggestions down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the bell, turn on notifications, and we're really pushing for partner here. So likes on the video do matter, and we would extremely appreciate likes, comments, all that kind of thing. So again, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.